Hello and thanks for tuning in. In this video we're gonna try to tackle this little Bruco 2 padlock. I got this one from the caveman 1966. Uh, he told me that he sent out about 15 of these with the same key bidding. Um, he sent out some other Ruko 2s um, but from this patch with this key he hasn't seen anyone picked so yeah let's see if we can be the first one works perfectly Try to put it in a vice to give you a little better view than picking it in my hand. Let's see. It's the fat one, we need the thin. I believe this is the pry bar light. And I'm going to use this large number five hook. And oh, let's see if we can. There we go. Um, we're going to work our way through the wording, not the round wording. We're going to go from the bottom and use the large large hook to uh, go in to the wording where the key pins have some space to move up and down and I've picked this off camera a couple of times uh, and tried to get it on camera a couple of times but every time the camera is turned on the lock just won't cooperate so yeah Third time lucky. Maybe. Start from the front. One and two is nothing. Three. Spinding. Four is binding. Five is nothing. One. Binding. Two. Nothing. Three. Four. Actually, I'm not gonna try to call out the pins, but because a little further along the way, I'm just gonna start dropping pins, and it's gonna be a total mess anyway. I'm gonna lose track, so I'm just gonna be quiet on this one. But if we get as far as a little false set. I'm gonna try to explain what I've done so far. Okay. Now I'm up on the side of the wording just to get the third highest pin set. I think I got him set but now I'm starting to lose pins so let's see how it goes
Okay, I think we have a little of a full set. That means all the drivers have been set to the lowest milling on the pin. So now we just need to bump the drivers past the sleeve of the core which is just a pain to do because now I have to loosen the tension and by doing that I am gonna drop or normally I drop a lot of pins and I feel and here that I'm starting to whisper this is just one stubborn lock Okay, a little deeper full set. Let's hope that is just feels like number five. Hopefully, hopefully, seven minutes. Okay. Lighten the tension, lighten the tension. Come on, baby, come on. And open Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna move this one there. Get a little bit more view. Get the vice out of the way. Okay, I tried to prepare a little bit. Drivers, I keep in still in frame. That's five of those. And sh shoot, I totally forgot my tweezers. Okay, so it's gonna be a little messy dumping the drivers, but take a look at the plug you can see there the sleeve is acting as a huge counter milling so when we take a look at this let's say, uh, yeah let me start with number one maybe Tiny. Okay, it explains a lot. And this 
spring. That's all five drivers. So let's take a look. Okay, we have the ASA driver pins that milled out part here is what I call the, the first um, offset, um, full set. So when we had the first full set, all the drivers were at this little last groove and they kept on hanging on that false um, the counter milling as long as you have a slight turn on the core those grabs on pretty hard but there you go game okay, man your recoil is open Thanks for watching.